Uh, good afternoon to one and all present over here. Myself, Dhruvika Solanti, Head of Marketing, along with my uh, colleagues, Isha Lagar, Adnan Patel, uh, Anish Karwari, and Jai Gosalkar. We are here to present our business plan for GKDC Season 9. So, talking about our company, which is named as Gatil Society, is an upcoming go kart fabricator in India. We specialize in producing variety of superlative go karts to be used for national and international competition as well as recreational karting. Our team has been working on the conceptual design and simulation of different uh, go kart models for the varied or varied audience. We envision ourselves as the leading manufacturers and promoters of motorsports in India and expanding our horizons to recreational karting setups and driver training institutes. Coming to the mission of a company, the mission of a company is to set a benchmark in motorsports by providing high caliber cards and on site services and to focus on establishing professional and customer centric relationships with training institutes, emerging and established racers, motorsports, enthusiasts, and high end users of customized vocals. Coming to our product, this is the prototype which we have been manufactured. And these are the various specifications of our card. Okay. Coming to the business overview of our company, uh, the business of the business is about manufacturing and selling of go-karts and its parts at afford affordable rates with the best of the with the best quality that we can uh, give. Promoting motor sports in India with the help of go-karting particularly. Setting up recreation karting business and providing consultancy and karting services uh, across India. Coming to the evaluation, our total evaluation is of 3 crore in which the primary stakeholder, Mr. Anish Gore, which is the CEO of our company, has one crore, second, one crore stakes in our company. Besides that, 24 members of our company has overall 1, lakh 20, uh, one crore 20 lakh INR in our company. The total investment that we are seeking is for 80 lakhs. So uh, the, return, the returns on investment of our company begins in the first year, it's 8.3%. Coming to the fifth year, we are growing to its 41.6%. This is the organization straight up of our company. First, the CEO, which is Mr. Anish Gore, he looks all he, 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 he looks over all operations within the organization. Then comes the R and D team, in which Mr. Jay Gosalkar is the head of with, with three other members of the team. The research based work on the current prototype as well as the possible future innovations are being carried out through our RD team. Then comes the manufacturing team. Mr. Aditya Kanse is the manufacturing lead of the manufacturing of, of various manufacturing operations with other five members involved in it. Then comes QC and QA, quality control and quality analysis, which is taken care by Mr. Adnan Patel with other five members. Through quality control and quality analysis, we give assurance of the best quality that we can provide to our customers. Coming to the marketing, Mr. Myself, Dhruvika Solanki, with other 10 members, we are managing on the business of track and selling the track proposals to increase sales. This is the industrial setup that we have prepared for our company. So the location that we have chosen is Vaghela Industrial Estate, which is in Vasai East, Maharashtra, India. The, uh, the area, the land, the location is very close to station and we, it is like uh, it is 15 minutes away from the station and 5 minutes from highway. The total area is of 1800 square feet and the overall costing is of 1 crore 60 lakhs, including all the taxes provided. The features of this industrial setup is that easy industry access we can uh, get largest industrial area near to Mumbai so that we can connect to various other cities except, except Mumbai. 
main entrepreneur zone for small to medium scale manufacturing businesses easy commute connectivity for transportation all that also we can get through it our primary domain for the sales of our product is the recreational karting market the kart was mainly designed to give best best experience for recreational purpose also it was designed in such a way that budding go kart drivers get the best experience in understanding how to drive a go kart hence for recreational purpose our target audience would be amusement parks resorts etc secondly we would focus on building up track business cities like mumbai lucknow bhopal Uh, Bangalore, Coimbatore, Haryana are the ones with highest number of motorsports enthusiasts. So our major focus would be having tie-ups with resorts, corporates, and colleges, where we would build up our own tracks and make a recreational karting business out of it. This business has higher returns on investment and generates profit within 1.2 to 1.5 years. Hence, this will not only help us generate revenues but also sustain in the manufacturing business. There are around 15 DTPs in Mumbai itself, and around 370 plus across India. So our secondary target would be approaching these DTPs. Uh, our cards can help these students uh, for the uh, for the beginners category, where they won't have to confuse themselves with the class and the gear level. Let us now look at the target audience in detail. In India, there are around one lakh seventy-two thousand hotels. In Maharashtra, one lakh fifty fifty thousand hotels. This includes the number of start as well as the unstart hotels and the target resorts that we uh, want to approach. According to the research we conducted, we have a probable market of two twenty five two lakh twenty five thousand hotels across India and around forty three thousand hotels in Maharashtra. for the initial years we surveyed resorts near mumbai regions that is virar vasai area new mumbai thane and karjat khopoli region we found that there are a lot of resorts who have barren land and do not know what to do with it they either use it to have uh, have shade or storage or are have kept them barren according to our market strategy we plan to reach out to these resort owners and suggest them to construct construct tar or asphalt tracks on the land in this uh with an initial investment of 18 to 20 lakhs uh where the recovery period is going to be 1.5 years uh and the return uh, returns would be 18 lakhs per annum a second marketing strategy is to construct tracks so our business is going to be constructing tracks in uh lucknow area where there are highest number of motorsports enthusiasts here we'll be building carts Uh, building building a track uh, on a leased land in a in an amusement park so our target amusement parks would be dream world amusement park disney water park or anandi water park uh, here the initial investment is going to be of around uh, 34 34 to 35 lakhs and the returns are going to start from 1.5 lakhs our fourth mar marketing strategy a third marketing strategy is going to be providing cards uh, on rent to resorts promotional events corporate events youths and college festivals uh, and our fourth market strategy is going to be emphasizing on the usp to provide uh, and to provide sponsored trials to these dtps across india uh, our break even analysis and sustainability uh, sustainability strategy suggests that our break even point appears in the second year and our profits start from around the second year probably the sustainability plan is to construct the track at lucknow area which is going to help us nurture our manufacturing business this is the financial overview of our business which suggests that we have a profit of around 24 lakh 90000 in the first year 51 lakh 58500 in the second year 1 crore 48000 in the third year 95 lakh 30000 in the fourth year and 1 crore 25000 7 uh, 1 crore 25 lakh 70000 fifth year hence we summarize uh, the sales forecast so in the first year we would be selling our cards at 15 uh, 1 lakh 50000 and our target is to reach around uh, selling 30 cards the profits earned would be 24 lakh 90000 
uh, in the second year we plan to sell it at the same cost that is 150000 in the third year it is 160000 fourth year it would be 163000 and in the fifth year we would increase the amount to 170000 per card our targets are going to be 30 cards in the first year 50 in the second year 100 in the third year 115 in the fourth year and 120 in the fifth year the deep dive topic uh, in case we encounter an engine overheat issue uh, and we encounter discomfort during driving the solution would be uh, changing the oil of the engine or carburetor setting and even if we cannot service the go-karts then we are not investing the three crore amount in the initial years we have had buffer amounts so we would either replace the engine or we would try to replace them with a new go-kart future scope of this business future scope for this business is that the specifications may be varying from cart to cart subject to demand or uh, demand of customization by the customers after having an upper hand in the Indian market in the five years, we may target to approach the international business and building India's largest track to provide space to attract foreign audience and formula racing would help us generate a lot of revenues and also to promote the sports in India. Thank you.